Yes, of course, dirt bikes are dangerous and anyone who rides them knows that and have probably been in all kinds of gnarly situations, me included, whether it's racing, trail riding or shooting video. And I think one of the most underrated and overlooked pieces of protective gear are knee braces. Some people can't stand the feel of a knee brace and to be honest, when I started testing all new modern knee braces during my journalist days with the magazines, I was wearing everything and some of them were terrible. They literally wanted to change your bone structure until they got slightly comfortable and they left big dents in your shins and in your thighs and, and you just, I can't do this. I can't ride with these, with these things like lumps of steel and plastic between your body and the bike. And then in time, you find a brace that fits you well and works and you get used to it. And once you get used to it, you cannot ride without them. It's like going riding without your helmet on. And a lot of people, I guess, in that regard, just think that pads are fine. And sure, for impact, pads are fine. But there's no structural protection in terms of hyperextension, twisting, even compression and compression this way. I want to show you a quick string of clips that, um, yeah, it's a crash reel, my own crash reel. And thankfully for me wearing knee braces, I've managed to come out of them with my knees intact. I'm 47 years old. I've been doing this sport for a long time and you guys know I have uh, a lot of big races, a lot of big adventures. Um, and just the general wear and tear of life thrown in on that, I put it down to having a quality set of knee braces there as my first line of defense. Now, to really put this into perspective, I had, a, I had a pretty big off just recently on an adventure bike shoot I was doing in Slovenia. Uh, the crash itself wasn't so gnarly but the bike, 200 kilo adventure bike, literally drove my leg into the wall of a bank and picked up a rock. Um, and it was effectively getting hit full pace with a sledgehammer in the knee. I'm still dealing with a hematoma under here right now, but that is the least of my problems considering what could have been had I not had the protection of the brace, which was taking the full crushing weight of the bike at speed. Let's get over the fact that I'm wearing pods and let's just use these as an example of the modern day knee brace. Shop around, there's all kinds of brands and versions out there, but what I'm, the point I'm trying to make is this mechanical exoskeleton. It's like a second knee. You, it, it gives you the strength of two knees when it comes to really eating shit suspending the load of your bike on the side of a hill. Um, so many injuries happen at low speed when you're just fumbling around like a goose and losing your footing, you know? I think it's important to factor that in. Forget the high speed, forget all the racing. Look at knee braces for the simple, most stupid falls and twists to basically double the strength of your knee joint because in the right angles they do exactly that. So here's a closer look at what went down. Um, what's interesting is you can see that the impact happened while my knee was bent. You can see where the rock has punched through the nylons, the legion pants, gouged into this um, inner knee cup, patella cup I think they call it, and then have a go at the the force, the sort of grazing. Like, I, I effectively need a rock at probably, I don't know, 40, 50 kilometers an hour. And this is the design of the brace. This is the lockout mechanism to give you full free range of, of bending and then lock out at that hyperextension. Now, there's a, been a lot of horror stories about other knee braces on the market where at that lockout point, people have snapped tib and fib here, or they've snapped femurs back here. But the beauty of the pod brace, um, and look, I can, I can, I guess, verify this to a certain degree. I've had some big offs, um, even knocked myself out, come to, and then when I've 
taken my gear off at the end of the day, the knee brace has just fallen into two halves. Not because anything's actually mechanically broken, but they have this almost human-like ligament inside. Now, I've got some spares here, and I'm gonna replace them. And just to give you guys an idea of the actual mechanics of these braces, uh, and how serviceable they actually are. We've got the left and right doodars. Um, it's basically the whole hinge body and a little, a little tool. And here, this is the secret of the pod knee braces. This is, this is the simulated human tendon. And it, it has all the, the elasticity and strength of a human tendon and it's designed in the full hyperextension impact uh, at some point they are designed to give way and tear and like I said I've had some big offs and and snap both of these and yes it's stretched my knee but the loading or the impact is over and you know my knees come out of it safely and, and this has taken the brunt of the, the damage and they're replaceable. So I've undone these little Allen screws on both sides. Push that screw out. So once you've got two sides out, literally just, oh yeah, that's. So these are the little hinge cases. I don't, I've had these in a long time, like a long time. I can't tell you how long. Um, but you can sort of tell the brace gets just a little bit a little bit floppy on the initial but the main hinge strength is still there so here's the new patella cup um, super easy to change just peel back peel back this inner which is all velcro and literally just go and out out with the old and in with the new. Done. Okay, you basically want to get yourself to that stage. Upper patella cap in. Ligament screwed into the upper part of the brace. Put the cap on with the small slot to the top. So you've got these facing towards the cap. And then with a the screw ready, marry the two halves of the brace together. Pretty well engineered. They just sort of find themselves, no trouble. And you'll see you've got all the room in the world to get the screw in there. Feel and push, feel and push. And you'll know when it comes home. Yep, it's bitten. You can get a little flathead screwdriver or a key or, or something just to put a bit of pressure on that inside screw. I'm using a giant loop luggage strap, the little knob. Perfect tool. Done. And we're in business. Ready to go racing. There's no guarantee it's going to prevent injury in a lot of circumstances, but I tell you what, in most cases, it's a, they're a lot cheaper than a knee reconstruction. Um, this is not about go and get pod knee braces. This is about research and try on knee braces in general and wear them. If you can afford a dirt bike, if you can afford a helmet, you can afford knee braces. Just do it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video, share it with all your mates, subscribe if you haven't already. And um, yeah, see you next time. <laughs>